Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I once was lost But now I'm found Was blind But now I see Well, it was just a little graveyard on the rolling foothill plains, bleached by sun and summer, swept by winter snows and rain. A little bunch of settlers had gathered on an autumn day around a homemade lumber coffin with their last respects to pay. Weary men who'd wrung their living from this hard and arid land, and beside them stood their women faded wives with toiled, worn hands. But among them was one figure who was wiry, straight, and trim. And everyone amongst us knew him. He was the Bronco Twister, Jim. Just a bunch of heart and muscle, tempered with savage grit. He had the reputation of a man who'd never quit. Well, he'd helped to build the coffin. He'd helped to dig the grave. Instincts must have told him how he's supposed to behave. Well, we didn't have a preacher, and the crowd was mighty slim. Just two women with weak voices sang an old-time funeral hymn, and that's all we had for service. And the old wife was a-sobbing for her husband of a lifetime to be laid away without a prayer. But then she saw the Bronco Twister, and She walked right up to him, put one trembling arm around him and said, Pray, please, won't you, Jim? Well, you could see his figure stiffen as a look of quick surprise shot across those swarthy features, those hard daredevil eyes. Well, he could handle any Bronco and he'd never dodged a fight. It was the first time any of us had seen his face turn white. But he took his large sombrero off his rough and shaggy head and how I wish I could remember what that bronco peeler said. No, he wasn't educated. On the range his youth was spent. But the maker of creation knew exactly what he meant. As he looked off toward the mountains where the drifting shadows lay, silence must have reigned in heaven when they heard old Jim pray. Now years have passed since that funeral in that little graveyard lot. But it gave us all a memory and a lot of food for thought. As we stood beside this coffin with its freshly broken sod and listened to a reckless bronco breaker talking heart to heart with God. Well, when the prayer had finally ended, and the grave had all been filled. On his half-unbroken pony, he rode back toward the hills. And we just stood there and led him as we watched him ride away. No words could ever thank him. There was nothing we could say. Now, since we gathered at that graveyard, it's been nearly 50 years. With the joys and sorrows, our hopes and our fears. But I hope when I'm finished and they lay me with the dead, Some cowboy says a prayer above me, like that Bronco Twister said. Mm ¶¶ 